Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more I am Setsuna. We are still trying to save Setsuna. And I'm going to beat up that Lord of Avalo because he's being a little freaking annoying douchebag. Although, where could they be? This airship isn't that big. Oh, there they are. Setsuna! Ah, you were faster than I imagined. Perhaps I underestimated you. Hold it right there. If you valued a sacrifice's life, I would advise that you do not come any further. Stop, my son, before it is too late. Too late? Too late for what, exactly? You are the one who is wrong, father. There is no way of knowing if the sacrificial pilgrimage shall, su shall succeed or fail. Yet you ask me to place the fate of the people in the hands of such uncertainty? What nonsense! Any responsible lord would find a more reliable method of protecting his people. And you think that making deals with the monsters is a reliable way of protecting your people? It is a lot more reliable than one measly sacrifice. I refuse to rely on such imprecise methods. It is my duty as lord. Do you really understand what you're doing? I am protecting my people. My conscience is clear. So that's why Tenderville was created. Not just anyone will make suitable bargaining tools. But today, I have a wonderful selection. As well as all of you, there are a mother and daughter that only just arrived in the village. You don't mean, that woman we saw with the little girl? You could learn a lot from them. I told them I had a noble duty for them to fulfill, and they came readily. Although, of course, I did not tell them exactly where it was they would be going. But I am very grateful to them. As a result, my people shall be saved. You're using humans as bargaining tools, and you're talking about saving people? Indeed I am. I have every right to speak in such a way. Damn it, to hell with this. Do not fret, you shall all be coming too. Akash, it is time to depart. Launch the ship. You think I'm going to help the likes of you? No chance. Fools, imbeciles, simpletons. Why will you not obey my orders? Very well, if you will not pilot the ship, then I shall simply do it myself. I don't think I can. Hey, stop it! Don't touch that! You don't know what you're doing! Ha! Huh. I can accomplish any task that can be accomplished by the likes of you! I don't think I can. It's not that simple! Come on, stop it! Please? Hey, I said stop it! You can't just pump it full of magical energy out of nowhere like that! You're gonna blow the ship up, but we can't use it. Ha! Huh. See? I can control a spirit knight device perfectly. You just wrecked a ship. I told you! Ah, oh, this is bad. The spirit knight's out of control. At this rate, it'll... It'll what? Explode. Worst case scenario, this whole place will be blown to smithereens. What do you mean? Can't you stop it? There's no time for that. All we can do now is try and reduce the damage as much as possible. So what should we do? Our only option is to destroy the device before the Spirit Knight reaches its limits. No! I shall not let you. The ship shall fly. I shall save my people. Something's heading this way. Him again. And at a time like this. I have found you, Sacrifice. This time you will not escape. Who are you? You've come to save me, have you? What luck? Good! Please eliminate them. I shall have to rethink my plan, if I at least take the sacrifice with me. She is mine. What? Be gone. Dead! Ha ha ha! Son! Serves you right. Who are you? Why are you attacking us? There's no need for you to know that. Uh, hey, there's no time for that now. You need to destroy the Spirit Knight device. Yeah, we know. Please, get back. Satsuna, join my party. Bye-bye. We need to destroy that device, and fast. You don't say. Oh, I forgot to change her Spirit Knight so that she had slow. Ah, uh, uh, let's just do this. Oh, 
最強おおウェイデバイス I should be attacking that. Dark Mist. Ow. Hi. Yosh. Yosh. Helix Slash. Combo. Charge. And I hit him in the way. Attack Cyclone. Focus on destroying the Spirit Knight device. Yeah, I realized that after finding out I can even target it. Uh, come on, come on, go, go, go. Combo Cyclone you. Attack. Oh, shoot, I'm hurt. Sesson has got a heal. Dark Mist. Oh, thank you. It missed. Ah. Uh, Come on, tech, cure uh, you. What? It only heals him? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, you. Come on, Tetsuna, go, 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 go. Tetsuna! Are you for reals? Uh. You. You. Oh, uh, this is why I need my aura. Just heal yourself. Quickly. Uh, go. Cyclone you. Uh, turn us. That's the. Ow! Go, 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 go. Hurry up, fill up, fill up, fill up. Charge. How much HP do you got, man? Ah, ah, ah. You're just potion me. No time to waste. Speed is. What? Tech, lightning, you. Did I not momentum? Go, go, go. This is tough. Uh, Cyclone. Come on, Sesson. Oh, yes, it's done. Ooh, that was tough. Combo power, MP consumed. Nice. Confirm selections. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my goal was not you, Reaper. I don't care about you. Looks like we pull it off, somehow. Father, why did you shield me? The blame lies with me for not stopping you sooner. I shall atone for the deaths I have caused with my life. Father, you live on and repent your sins. A lord must be strong. He must never take the easy path you must stay resolute you must not succumb to the monsters the lives of the people are the most precious of all my son <laughs> he just flopped over father i i oh they're here now you're that old man saved us. Father. Setsuna! These wounds. When the spirit knight exploded, Setsuna shielded me. She took the full force of the spirit knight at close range. It's affecting her bodily functions. It isn't life-threatening, but it can't be cured with magic. Alright, let's go. Go where? If we go to my village, I'm sure we'll be able to cure her. Really? I didn't want to go back there before I reached the last lands. But now isn't the time to be worrying about that. Come on, let's head to my village. There's an entrance inside the Misly Woods. I'll show you the way. 
Sets on the left. Gosh darn it, why must she always leave me? And why won't Kira fully join? Gosh. Also, what the heck happened to... Yeah, I have Aura. Why wasn't it showing up as... Gosh darn it. Uh, slow? No. Temi? No. Why is it protect here? Oh, well, I don't need protect. Yeah, that's fine. Where is your village, boy? Um, I don't think I can get anything else. I do want to stock up on items again, so... <sighs> Give me stuff. Bye. Ooh, wow, I have tons of ethers. Um, four, just in case. And everything else is good. Wait, do I have more materials I can sell to them? So! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Panky's treasure. Don't need Panky's treasure. Um, obtain Spirit Knight. Can I do blunt blow? Do I have one? I have one. Okay. Bye! But where's his village? You never told us where it was, Kier. Um, wait, where do I have to go next? Did I have to talk to the Lord? <laughs> what if I have to talk to the Lord? Just in case, before I fully leave the town and have to come back in. And Kier, what's the point of you joining my party if I can't use you yet? Seems like a waste. Uh, I'll talk to you first. Forget about things here and be on your way. Tut tut. This airship ain't flying anywhere now. Everyone's counting on that girl, ain't they? You need to hurry up and help her. Everything I did. I did to protect this town from the monsters. To protect the people. The hearts of men are weak. And so, I cast away that weakness. So why? Why do these tears fall from my eyes? Why, father? Why? I knew something was up with him and the village. Sacrificing the people to the monsters. That's... That makes no sense. Like, hey, I want to save people, so I'm going to sacrifice all these other people that I don't care about. It doesn't work like that. Freaking douchebag. Why the heck did you want... And it's like, if you have doubts about the sacrifice system, fine. But, you know, work together with other people to find a more permanent solution? Or just figure out why the monsters are in the world in the first place? Like, what the heck? I don't know. It's just me who did it get cloudy over here. Black sweet potato. Where do I go, Kier? I'm assuming I go back into the woods, right? Yes, good. There's a path just on from here that leads to my village. Come on, let's go. I don't know exactly how to do his voice until I hear him in battle. So, it's gonna be very inconsistent. I am not healed. Ow. Go. Where is this path, Kier? I would just normally attack them, but these guys seem to have a lot of HP, so I need to wait for the momentum. Yeah. Oh! I did a momentum. Uh, you are a... Just heal everyone. There we go. Hi. Hi. Yay! Was that an exact kill? 
That's cool. I should level up here a bit too. Man, that last boss battle was not fun. I was really close to death multiple times. And I thought I was fully healed in the beginning of the battle too. Man. Come on. I appreciate the fact that he attacks multiple enemies. Uh, just attack, he should be dead. Yep. His voice doesn't match his face. His face looks like such a scraggly old man. Yeah. Yes, kill the bird. How come sometimes in battles we'll just automatically start off with one SP point? And other times we don't. Just attack him. Or not. Neither. Have I not been- I'm pushing square! Why aren't you momentuming? You fool. Am I going the wrong way? No, this is the right way. Where is this path? I'm guessing it's here. This is the path. Path? There ain't no path here. Yeah, there is a secret one. See? Does he have a tail? I just thought that was his wand or staff or weapon or whatever he's gonna be using. Ancient indigo box. Ooh. It's the dude again. Sesson is just like, hmm. Him again? What are we gonna do? Don't you think we'd better take care of him, Jelly? Just to be safe. Ignore him! Exactly! I'm with Jelly! Don't you think the way he keeps following us around like this is a little creepy, though? Maybe it is creepy, but he's harmless, so who cares? It's not as if he's causing anyone any trouble. Anyway, you're pretty easily creeped out for someone with a mug like that, old man. What did you just say, you little... Don't worry, he won't do anything to us, honestly. There's nothing we can do. Maybe he's like the wandering spirit of a previous guard. Well, I guess he ain't a problem if we know he won't do anything. I mean, that Lord Avalo was much more of a monster. And he was a human, an intelligent being. Being intelligent doesn't make you any more human. And not all monsters like intelligence anyway. <laughs> and what about us? We aren't either. Huh? Did you just say something? No, nothing. Anyway, we need to hurry on. Setsuna looks like she's in pain. Once we get in through here, it won't be much further. Hang in there, Setsuna. I'm fine. I'm so sorry. You said you didn't want to go back to your village, and now... It's fine. You don't need to worry about that, Setsuna. Are you alright? Can you walk? Nidor, carry her! I guess that's the way to the village, but I want to see what's still left. What's wrong, Jelly? Is it that blue knight? Do you think he's human? No. But I can't be certain. It was only faint, but for a moment, I thought I could sense something human about him. Either way, though, it seems Kier knows something. I guess I don't have a choice. I'm just forced to go. Antiques, love a timepiece. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything up there. Process of elimination, go left. How far left are we going? Up the mountain? No way. He said it's a village. Back to bronze mirror. Okay, but there's nothing there. Uh, I guess I will try going up here. Morbrus Mountain. Let's save, first of all. Saving, yes, please. What if Kira's like, this is the wrong way? Uh, 
I don't think we're supposed to be here. It seems too ominous. Okay, so maybe there was something in that fog? Northern frontier? Shh. Uh, is there anything here? Maybe to the right? No, to the right there's nothing. Kira, where the heck are you taking us? Okay, yeah, there really is nothing here. So it is through the mountains. Gosh darn it. Mountains look scary though. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Looks like we've hit a dead end. You sure there's really a village here? You haven't gotten us lost, have you? Just be quiet and follow me. Like this, see? Hmm? What is this? Magic? It's to stop creeps like you from getting in, old man. Who are you calling a creep? Damn smart. I don't cuss. Come on, let's go. It's not far to the village now. Ooh. More penguins! They don't seem like penguins, though. They seem tougher. They bite? Ooh, they bite from far away. Well, there you go. Ow, he's still alive. Uh, attack you. Dang! These guys are tough. I'm gonna have to level grind for a bit. Ouch! When I think of a penguin biting people, I think of the Batman movie, Batman Returns. Yeah, the second movie, where it's um Catwoman and uh and the penguin who are the villains, and the penguin just bit the nose of a campaign dude. It's like, how can you bite? You have tiny teeth, but I guess if a bird bites you, it hurts. A cloud pea? That sounds kind of cute. Whoa! It's a ferret. Cyclone. Uh, charge. Oh, holy. Die? Yes. Aerial strike! Haha, <laughs> dead. Oh dang, I wanted to use uh, Aura with me to heal everyone. Whoopsie, I was too excited about killing the... Killing the squirrel. What are these random stone... Things? That are just randomly here. Sort. Okay, path up here. Roy Polly! Combo aura me. Tech. Damn you. Tech aerial strike you. Ow! Let's just normally attack. Yeah, that did nothing. I'd have to wait for momentum. Go! Why can't she hit multiple enemies with her normal attack? Why does she only go for one? That's what I. like, one thing I don't like about Eterna. Ugh. Crystal lettuce! All of these ingredients sound delicious and charming. Hi. Okay, he fled, so I'll just normally attack. Go! Snowball ride. Fiscal evasion. Cool. Dang, a turn is fast. A light. A light what? What? What was that? 
<laughs> what is the special damage exactly? Is it like non-elemental? It's just adding more damage? Either way, it's cool. That is locked. I'm guessing this is the way to his village. Hmm? I've never seen any monsters like that before. That's... A black squirrel. What is it? They're spirit knight eaten monsters. You see them every so often. When monsters are exposed to powerful spirit knight for too long, it affects their bodies. They're much more stronger than regular monsters, so if you're not careful, you can easily end up badly hurt. I see. Well, let's just stay well clear of them then. What would anyone bother messing with monsters like that for? Well, you'd be surprised. Apparently they drop very rare materials, so some reckless people do attempt to defeat them. What? No thanks. Jelly, it's up to you if you want to fight them. But as a member of Setsuna's Guard, her safety needs to be your top priority. I don't think I'm ready to fight him yet, so I'll just move on. Better to reach a safe area. Combo! Cyclone! Attack. Attack. Exact kills! Woo! Attack. Oh no, she didn't have us. Oh, exact kill. Okay, whatever. Fine by me! Twisted potato! That ingredient is not charming sounding. But potatoes are delicious! Okay. We out. Philosopher's garlic. Why would they have garlic? Seriously? More? Kira, where's your village? Oh wait, that looks pretty. Hidbury. Let us save. Just in case. Because I made a lot of progress. Huzzah. And let's be off. Please, Setsuna, be healed and join my party. Or Kira, just finally join my party, please. Oh, it looks so warm and cozy. No one's here. Sure is a quiet village, ain't it? No, it's too quiet. What do you mean? Don't tell me the monsters have- Monsters? We're inside a village! Our village has been under constant attack by ferocious monsters for decades now. Decades? Didn't you ever fight back? No, never. This village never fights back. Hey! 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 Big Blow! Brother Kier! Kier! They do have pointy tails. Oh, it's you three! You're safe! What a relief! The monsters were here all day today, Kier! They wouldn't go away! So we kept on hiding. Then the next thing we knew, we fell asleep! Fast as we! I see. Well, I'm glad to see you're safe. You have returned, Kier. Oh, it's a man. Long time no see, Hydor. I am Hydor, the village chief. Hidor? Hydor? I'm gonna say Hydor. I take it your return does not mean that you've changed your mind. Do I assume correctly? We'll talk about that later. Right now there's something I need your help with. That young lady, I presume. I see. The effects of Spirit Knight. It is causing temporary functional inhibition. So what's that in plain language? It means that the magical energy she was exposed to is now eating away at her flesh. The harmful effects of the Spirit Knight have infected her body and must be neutralized. If they are not, after effects may remain. Setsuna shielded me from the Spirit Knight's explosion. Please, Hydor, you can cure her, right? I cannot. I retain the little magical energy that I do in order to help our fellow villagers. It cannot be used on those from outside the village. You're kidding me! Nothing's changed at all! Fine. Fine. I know what I'll do. I don't care how much magical energy I have. I'm gonna use it for what I want. It's my choice, so there's nothing you could do about it. You may do as you wish. Ah, <sighs> damn it! I'm fine. Please. I don't want you to argue. Don't worry, I'll do something. There's a way? Yes, don't worry. We'll use the spirit knight veins. 
Spirit Knight veins? That's right. They flow through the earth around here. Spirit Knight veins are like currents of magical energy that run under the earth's surface. We can use their power to cure Setsuna. But first of all, we need to find one that's strong enough. We'll hope. What do you need to do? Spirit Knight veins react to people's magical energy and give off light. What we need to do is find the place in the village where that light is the strongest. So somewhere that gives off a strong light. Alright, got it. Come on, Jelly. We need to hurry. Let's... Uh, but it's weak and unstable. Weak and unstable. I'm guessing this one is also weak and unstable. Yep. Uh, Thunder Rock Salt! Weak and unstable. Can't talk to the kid. You won't hurt us, right? You're Akira's friends, so we can trust you, right? Yes, you can. Weak and unstable. What's up? The village is constantly under attack by monsters. We tell ourselves we'll be safe if we just hide away, but deep down, we know we might not be. Each time, I wonder if this will be the time they come for us. Uh... Is there more spirit night back? Nope! Bye! I'm gonna stay in the village for now. That one was weak and unstable. This is a white sunflower seed. What's the outside world like? Is it fun? I've never been. Hydra says it's a very scary place. It can be scary. Oh wait, I, that's the one I saw in the beginning. A treasure chest! Oh no, wait, I have to go up the stairs. That's the other one I saw in the beginning. You've been traveling around all sorts of places, right? A crystal lettuce and some philosopher's garlic. A white sunflower seed and some thunder rock salt. If you've got those to spare, would you mind giving them to me? I happen to have all of those. Thanks. Now I can cook up some deep fried crystal lettuce. Wait there, I'll be right back. Lettuce is disgusting. Here you go. This is for you. I've been wanting to cook some deep fried crystal lettuce to help my friend get better. Oh, sorry. Lately I just start crying so easily. I know, I'll give you the recipe. I hope you can cook some for someone who's important to you, too. Crispy treat recipe! Thank you, kindly girl. Child. Okay, it seems I do have to leave the village. Can I go into houses? I'm real proud of Kier. Actually, I thought I'd leave the village together with him. I'd like to, but my body won't let me. I'll be better in no time, though. When I am, I hope we can go on a journey together. It'll never be better. So you can use magic? I wish I could, too. If only I knew a spell that could cure anything, I could make my brother better again. Hmm. I should check inside people's tents to see if they have uh, treasure chests. Oh wait, this seems powerful. Strong and stable magical energy running underneath the tree here. Right, this is the one. I know it is. Impressive, Jelly. There's definitely a powerful spirit vein running under the ground here. I can sense it. Alright. Now if I can just do the incantation. Mm. Hold on a minute. Please don't tell me you don't know the incantation. Oh, no, no. It'll be fine. Don't worry. I don't think he knows it. Uh oh, Kier, come on! <laughs> Kier, just ask someone! So... How much longer is this gonna take? Hello? It's no use. It's no use. It's not enough. My energy alone isn't enough. Care. How pathetic. If only... If only had my true power. Your true power? Big Blow! Where the care? My throat's starting to hurt from all this reading. Care! We'll help. No. 
No, no, no. No way! You guys are only little. You know, you get all tired out. We don't care. No, and that means no. La la la, can't hear you. La la la, can't hear you. Wah wah wah, can't hear you. Ah, oh, fine, do what you want. Just don't blame me when you get in trouble. We don't care. I don't think this is going to work. Not work? You mean Satsuna will... No, I mean, they won't have enough magical energy. Can't you help them, Eterna? I'm afraid not. I don't really understand this village's magic level very well myself. What should we do? Uh... Uh... I'd say let's ask someone to be safe. Which I suppose means the village chief Hydor. Alright, we need to strike while the iron's hot. Let's go see him immediately. Come on, come on! What's up with you? You never usually get this frantic. You look like you're ready to sprint over to Hydra's place as fast as you can. That's a cue for me to start walking. What up, dude? Oh, it's a locked chest. Ah, it is you. Has Kier still not given up? Nope. Even those little kids are helping now. The children? Please, help us. <laughs> I've already told you that I cannot. But why? At least give us a reason. Very well. If you wish to know, then I shall tell you. But that shall be my final word on the matter. We are humans, like you, but we are not quite the same. It is said that our blood is closer to that of monsters than of humans. As a result, we possess magical energy far greater than regular humans. We are also a short-lived people. Our lives end in their third decade. For many moons, our ancestors were feared, hated, and snatched away from their families. They lived harsh lives, dreaming all the while of extending their lifespans. They hid, biding their time and focusing on protecting themselves. So that's why you're living hidden away in the middle of nowhere like this. Years passed, and our ancestors' research into extending their lifespans continued. Eventually, they discovered a faint light of hope, and following it, arrived at a conclusion. They discovered that it was in fact their surging magical energy that was affecting their lifespans. Pretty ironic. Your magical energy is so strong that your life force becomes weaker. Our ancestors chose to extend their lives, even at the expense of the very thing that made them unique as a people. They developed the method of purging their bodies of magical energy. Immediately after birth, a special spiritite stone is used to extract a vast majority of this energy. This tradition has now continued for many, many years. With the burden of our magical energy gone, we are healthier and our lifespans are close to doubled. So Kira's magical energy is only low because it was sealed away. However, there are those among us who are still not satisfied. Many have left the village in search of a better solution, but none have ever returned. Kira's little brother, Tor, is among them. To this day, he has yet to return. His brother... We are still rare bloods. That much is unchanged. We are still hunted for our lives. By monsters and by humans. How could one possibly expect to leave here and remain unscathed? Or even if you don't leave, right? That must be why there are so many monsters around here. The monsters can sniff out people with high magical energy. Indeed, the situation grows only worse. So that's what's going on. Now do you understand? That last scarce magical energy that remains inside our bodies. Now do you understand just how precious it is to us? So Kier plans on using the last of his magical energy to save Setsuna. And that could end up costing him his life? Is that what you're saying? What are we gonna do, Jelly? Let him do what he wants. Well, our top priority is the life of the sacrifice, of course. But that doesn't mean we're gonna stand by and watch while children die, does it? You're right, and you never know. There might be another way. Right now, it's probably best if we stop Kier. Let's go back to where the Spirit Knight Vein was. Come on, we need to stop Kier. Okay, I thought I was going to be like, do whatever he wants and then he'll figure it out on his own, but I guess game wants me to actually stop him. Kier, stop. What is it? I'm trying to concentrate, you know. We know everything. So what? Come on, stop. You've done enough, kid. 
The sacrifices give their lives in order to protect everyone, right? I think Setsun is amazing. I mean, Jelly and all of you protecting her are amazing too, of course. But she's trying to protect us all. She's trying to protect the future. If she dies now, I don't think I'll ever be able to forgive myself. I know what you're saying, kid, but... Don't throw your life away. Then how will we cure Setsuna? That's not the point. We can't let those little children put their lives on the line as well. Get out of here, all of you! Cure. Stop this cure. If you do not, you really shall be risking your life. No. Damn it. Hey, Kier! Do not worry. With rest, he shall soon recover. Why are you... It is not that I do not envy Kier. It is not that I do not envy the choices he has made in his life. But there is a monster! The monsters! The monsters are here! It cannot be. This is the third time today. What cruel whim of the gods is this? Very well. I shall take the young la lady to safety. Come, all of you. Hide inside the houses. Once we are hidden inside, they shall pass us by. They are not intelligent creatures. What? Can't we just fight them? No, you most certainly cannot. If you were to let even one escape, the repercussions could be dire. Looks like we've got no choice. We can't fight if it's going to have repercussions for the village. Come on, you get inside too. He's not here. What's wrong? Who ain't here? You don't mean that kid. The littlest one. Uh, where is he? Uh, let's look for the boy. Yeah, of course. We can't get involved if we can't bear the consequences later. Let's avoid fighting and just try to find that little boy. Oh man, it's gonna be a sneaky mission. Uh, but first, I see it. That's not what I see. Uh, so what am I supposed to do? Hey, I found you! Ah, I'm scared! Come with me. No point in yelling at the kid. So you can be nice. I'm a little surprised, actually. Alright, come on, let's hide inside the nearest house. Where's everyone else? Whose house is this? Don't be scared. As long as we just stay here, it'll be fine. Oh, the screen shaking's making me dizzy. Oh, stop it. Stop it! Okay, it's getting softer. Are they gone? Apparently so. Just a head nod. That's enough to give thanks. I'm worried about Setsuna. Let's head go back to Hyder's house. Give me a break so I can go level grind. Okay, I think this is enough of a break. Let me pick up that shiny ingredient. Uh, let me head outside the village. And let me save. I know this isn't the end of this story arc, but I've been recording for a long time. My throat is starting to hurt from talking so much, and I'm getting kind of lightheaded because of the talking. Also, I want to level grind. Uh, I want to raise Nidor's level, and I don't want to have to spend too many turns killing fluffy bunnies. So I'll be level grinding, and then next time, continue on with the story, see what happens to Setsuna. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.